Hey friends, let us learn about the numbers that comes before, after and between. Let's play with the ball and learn about before and after. What do you mean by after numbers? When we count forward from a given number, we get the numbers after. Can you see the ball? It is on number 4. Which number will you get when you count forward one number? Number 5. Thus, 5 comes after 4. Let's solve some examples. Write the number that comes just after the given number. Here we can see the number 4. A number just after any number is to the right of it or counting forward one number. So we get number 5. Here we have number 3. And if you count one number forward, we get number 4. Count the number of objects and write in the first box. Then write the number that comes just after it. Here we have Ducks. How many ducks are they? Here we have six ducks. So we should write number six in the first box. Now to get the number after it, we should count one number forward. Thus we get number seven. Now let's see what do you mean by before numbers. When we count backwards from a given number, we get the numbers before. Where is the ball? It is on number 3. Which number will you get when you count backwards? Number 2. Thus, 2 comes before 3. Where is the ball now? It is on number 6. Which number will you get? when you count one number backwards. Number 5. Thus, 5 comes before 6. Let's solve some examples. Write the number that comes just before the given number. We can see the number 6. A number just before any number is to the left of it or counting one number backwards. So we get the number 5. Here we have number 9. And if you count one number backwards, we get number 8. Count the number of objects and write in the second box. Then write the number that comes just before 8. Here we have cars. How many cars are there? There are 3 cars. So, we should write the number 3 in the second box. Now, to get the number before of it, we should count one number backwards. Thus, we get the number 2. Now, look at the number. What comes before 2? 1. What comes after 2? 3. So, we can say that 1 comes before 2 and 3 comes after 2. Wasn't it fun to learn before and after with blocks and ball? Look at this garden. There are so many beautiful flowers. Now we are going to learn numbers between with the help of these beautiful flowers. Can you see the pink roses? Every pink rose has a number. You can see numbers 2 and 4 on the pink roses. Which number is in between them? 3. Thus, number 3 comes between 2 and 4. Wasn't it fun to learn numbers between in this beautiful garden of flowers? Let's do some exercise. Write the number that comes between the given numbers. We can see the numbers 5 and 7. 
and we know a number in between is the number that comes in the middle of two given numbers. Hence, we get the number 6. Here we can see the numbers 1 and 3 and we know between number is the number that comes middle of the given numbers. So, we get the number 2. Write the number that comes between the given numbers and color the objects. We can see the numbers 7 and 9. Thus, we get 8 in between 7 and 9. And now, we have to color 8 balloons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Ascending and Descending Order Let us meet Rahul. He has to climb 10 steps which are numbered 1 to 10. Rahul starts from step number 1. He climbs on step number 2, then to step number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and finally to step number 10. Did you observe that? As he climbs up each step, he is ascending or moving to a greater number than the previous number. Thus, we say that when the numbers are arranged from the smallest to the greatest, they are in the ascending order or increasing order. Look at this. These spoons are arranged in increasing order means smallest to biggest. Let's understand by taking more examples. Arrange the numbers in increasing order. We can see the numbers 4, 1, 2, 3. Increasing order means smallest to biggest. Thus, the smallest number among these is 1. Next number is 2. Then number 3. And the last number is 4. Hence, we arrange the given numbers in increasing order. Now, we can see the numbers 8, 6, 3, 9. In the same way as above example, the smallest number is 3. Next number is 6. Then number 8. And the last number 9. Let's see the last example. We have numbers 1, 6, 4, 7 and to arrange in increasing order, we start with the number 1, 4, then 6 and last 7. Here is our friend Rahul again. He is on step number 10 and has to come down to step number 1. He comes down to step number 9 which brings him a lower level than step number 10. Then to step number 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and finally to step number 1. Did you observe that? As he comes down each step, he is descending or moving to a smaller number than the previous number. Thus. We can say that when the numbers are arranged from the greatest to the smallest, they are in the decreasing order or descending order. Look at this. These totals are arranged in decreasing order, means biggest to smallest. Let's understand by taking few more examples. Arrange the numbers in decreasing order. Here we can see the numbers 4, 1, 2, 3. Decreasing order means biggest to smallest. Thus, the biggest number among these is 4. Next number is 3. Then the number 2 and last 1. Hence, we arrange the given numbers in 
decreasing order. Now we can see the numbers 5, 6, 9, 2. In the same way as above example, the biggest number is 9. Next number is 6. Then number 5 and last number 2. The last example, we have numbers 8, 3, 5, 1. And to arrange in decreasing order, we start with number 8. Next, 5, then 3, and last, 1. How much do you know? I have given some work. Will you do with the help of your parents? It's an easy work. You have to work out page number 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22 in the textbook. Go for it. Good luck. Thank you children. See you in the next class. Bye.